Hello, we are from Linearity Corporation in South Korea. Um, we are mainly focusing on applying ML and DL to security law. Today, I want to talk how to detect dangerous attack in many laws by using numerical technique on enterprise security. I hope today's presentation helped to upgrade efficiency of detection in ML and DL. Please enjoy what we can apply to security. Um, this is brief profile. We worked in various security area. Um, recently, we are researching how to apply big data and ML in security. So we have prepared today presentation. Um, this presentation is made up with three sections. First, why we need data analysis in security. Second, what what is current current level of detection. Lastly, how to apply numerical technique in security area. First of all, the importance of data analysis. Um, on the next page, I will introduce the importance of data analysis with security history. In 80s and 90s years, hacking was not prevailed and all server and PC have own IP address. So if hacker knows IP address, it could be easy to access system. So the end of 18th century, the concept of IDS was known. IDS system has pattern through analyzing network packer and using this pattern Pattern detect hacker. People remember the bubble of dot com in end of 19th century. Through this age, we became very familiar to use web service. Moreover, most of companies have have become to offer service based on web and firewall popped up security had the concept of public network and private network um, through through firewall split network up and in companies outside only only could access web service or mail service in bmz in this situation attackers only could access web ser service and mail service. So web hacking was prevalent. But after taking WAF, the age of web hacking came into end. WAF allowed to improve the security level of web service web server, which was limited when we was using IPS. Currently is it possible to hack website without ever being detected? I guess it's impossible. After 2000, it became too hard to attack server. The attack paradigm changed to endpoint from server. And it's called APT attack. Whether zero day or macro, the hacker's purpose is to install malware on the endpoint. Actually, in AB test statistics, malware is steadily increasing. Even if we have antivirus, we still have limitations to detect malware. Users' behavior is unpredictable, unlike servers that offer specific service. This trend continues until now.
let's find out what effort have been made to detect malware attacks. As mentioned earlier, many solutions has been released because it was difficult to detect malware. Firstly, there is the solution in network level. This solution detects users' behavior in network level. And many solutions like FireEye and Trend Micro support the detection technique using Sandbox. This solution detects files that some user download or access link in web service and detect attacked file and linked in email using Sandbox. Um, in this case of uh, Blue Code SSL proxy, it monitors the user's web access. Through extract extracting SSL traffic, find out when and how many files a user has logged onto a site. These solutions can sometimes cause privacy breaches for users. Many countries in Asia, including Korea, are aggressively to install the agent um, directly to monitor user behavior um, beyond the network level. DRM is encrypted document stored on the user's PC to prevent external leaks and to know who create and what and when files were deleted. DLP is the solution um, detects when and which files were taken out by the user via USB and email. Um, printout security solution is the solution let you know which document the user has printed and a captured copy of document is sent to the server. I think we it feels weird to some people, but it's better than the network level in security efficiency. But with the idea out, there may be another paradigm shift. Actually, it would be very difficult to attack to bypass the idea. Um, it is still a transition period and EDL will be taken for granted like antivirus. There are still many other solutions from many companies. Um, some companies which need to control wearable and Wi-Fi have to deploy with solutions. The companies have to deploy CASB solutions. I won't talk about this. A lot of security solutions are released in line with the tech change. Even worse, the solutions are a lot. Some of enterprise companies have thousands of firewalls. Recently, beyond security logs, some companies directly collect the log from sub and endpoint. environment generate large amount of logs even up to terabyte per day. Tens of thousands of tech attacks can be detected per day in IPS and WAF. Final dangerous attack in these logs is quite tough to 
the blue team. How security solutions are currently detecting attackers in this data? First, let's look at the case of general attacks in company. Today, I will talk about attack case in server environment. Of course, it is easy to apply to endpoint because the endpoint have detection logs. First case is simple scan attack. Some attackers randomly attempt to scan network bands to check if a specific service exists. Because it scans multi multiple network bands simultaneously, it seems like one or two attacks coming in from a blue team point of view. If you patch it, this kind of attack is not dangerous. We consider this attack level low or medium. Um, the target attack. In this case, attacker tried to hack specific company. Through port scanning, search asset and system, and attempt various attacks on the searched system. Multiple detection logs can occur on multiple solutions during attempt to attack. Case 3 is like case 2, but it assumes that attack is successful. When, attack, when hackers succeed in exploit, the allowed traffic in the firewall logs tend to increase. Traffic can increase from the internal server asset to the attacker. It's invented to identify dangerous attacks such as case 2 and case 3 in numerous logs in the enterprise. There are many SIEM solutions in the market, including ELK, Splunk, Curator, Oxide, Xbeam, Citronix. Only provides techniques techniques such as statistics, scenario, visualization, and ML. Sim collects logs from different solutions and combine the data to identify the events that need to be seen among the numerous attack logs like table joins in MySQL. Let's look at the concepts through example detection scenario in SIM. Let's say that based on antivirus log, the same malware was detected on a large number of PCs within a certain time. In this situation, it can detect deployment of malware at the same time by SMB weakness. Same provides throttle based on detection using ML. Companies with 1,000 employees and companies with 1 million employees have different size of data. And in this situation, ML can be an effective method of automatically calculating thread holders. Let's consider applying ML to the DNS logs. 
Um, generally, the length of the domain to which users access is fixed. If you look at the length of the DNS log as a normal distribution, this is the figure. If you pull out the long string above the top of 90-90.90%, a long string is usually identified that cannot be seen by a person typing in by hand. In these logs, we may be able to detect attacks using DNS protocols as CNC. In addition to DNS logs, similar form of analysis can be attempted in many areas, including website access. Moving on the next chapter, let's point out the important thing. As I mentioned earlier, seem normally made to detect specific situations. It detects if something happened in, in a specific log, just as mal malware was detected based on antivirus. It's hard to make comprehensive analysis scenario, but the important point here is that there is a problem with the SIM detection method. SIM is still a very effective and powerful solution. At present level, we can find most of attack if we set up a proper scenario. However, what we are talking about is that numerical anal analysis can raise the level of seem to higher level. Then let's apply numerical analysis to the data. This is list of baseball players. What do you think who is the best player? In the past, baseball evaluated players with batting average, home runs, and RBIs called classic indicators. However, general indicators are questionable for whether he is actually a good player or not. Thus, an indicator, the same matrix, was created and Oakland manager Billy Bean collects players that receive a high score on these indicators. But the classic indicator was low, and he was successful in managing the club at a low price. This story even came out as a movie starring Brad Pitt and is now used as a better indicator than classic one. Why am I suddenly talking about movies and baseball? Because in baseball, classic step was insufficient to evaluate players, so we tried to apply it to security area from creating new indicators in baseball. Is one of the same metrics um, indicating how much the player contributed the team's win. The exact expression is how many more wins player have contributed to the team compared to the average level player. Therefore, if a player who is higher than the average plays for a long time, the score increases, 
And if a player who is lower than the average plays for a long time, the score decreases even more. Calculating WAR requires many indicators of baseball, including walks, hits, doubles, triples, home runs, and so on. And these indicators are extracted by comparing them with the league average. In fact, rather than understanding such as equation closely like WOBA and WRAA, it would be better to focus on comparing it between the league average and weight values. Walks, hitch, HBP, doubles, triples, home runs are the basic indicators, indicators in WAR. Um, we can map it as follows. Walks and HBP are access count as by wall. Hitch is low attack. Doubles is medium attack, triples it's higher attack, home runs can be mapped to critical attack. The basic, basic indicators required to create a WAR, the weight must be changed. The weight measured in WAR cannot be used in the same security log because it is a weight targeted to baseball, baseball data set. Therefore, basically, the following weights are used. A simple access like a firewall is 0 0.001. Low attacks such as Scan attacks, not direct attack, are 0 0.5. Medium attack is 2. An attack that is higher in danger level in the event of an actual attack is 5. Critical attack, which can be seen as real direct risk, assign weight to 10. For the reference, in the case of RBOE, it is a meaningful indicator in baseball, but it's not a very necessary indicator in real security, so it was omitted. Um, if only static value are used for weight, there is a possibility to malfunction to, due to environmental differences. This presentation uses uh, fixed values, but this part can be a variable. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna talk about um, this demonstration. I will show you by using Splunk the big data pl platform. Um, this number analysis method can be applied to any solution if it is a theme like ELK. So I think it would be better to see the field created during number analysis um, rather than queries. Uh, there is firewalls, IPS, WAF, and web logs within this demo site and sensitive information such as IPs and signature in the log uh, has been marked or changed to the com completely different data. Uh, 
per day, um, this number of firewalls and this number of IPS and uh, this number of WAF and finally this number of web logs are accumulated in this website. For log volume, it's not that large site, but it, it will um, take a lot of resources to analyze these logs accumulated. For understanding convenience, I will explain it based on IPS instead of SIM and any other solutions. First, uh, this is detection logs of IPS a day. Um, let's check how much risk was detected based on SRC IP. Let's check the total count for each risk and how much it detected on average. Uh, approximately, the total number of critical events is like this and the uh, average is uh, that number and the high event is this count and the average is 1.7 something and the medium event is uh, as you can see this number and the average is um, this one and um, the low event is uh, this number and the average is um, 2.7 um, something cases then uh, let's add the total count and average of access attempts for each IP here I will check with the firewall count The site has attempted um, this number of accesses on average and in, in the case of um, this IP at the top, um, it has um, 55 access attempts. Next, um, let's sum up the risk detected based on IP. Uh, this indicator is multiplied by the weight of each risk, each risk based based on SRC IP, and this indicator can be seen as a simplest indicator uh, without any correction for the attack. In baseball, it is WOBA, and for convenience, the field name is the same. And then let's sum up the risk on uh, average. This indicator is the value uh, obtained by multi multiplying the detected average value based on risk and um, weight values. In baseball, it is LGW OBA, and for convenience, the, the field name is the same. Now we have created cre we have created value of W O B A and L G W O B A. Um, let's check let's check what the differences is um, compared to to the average on I P.
in baseball, uh, it is WRAA and it can be considered as a value um, that is corrected by adjusting the average on the risk for each SRC IP. Through these operations, you can see how dangerous SRC IP is compared to common events. Uh, finally, let's calculate the actual risk indicator, which is WAR based on baseball. Through this indicator, the score will rise depending on how often the actual high risk IP has been active and the final risk indicator will be created. Since there are so many fields, let's extract only the field we need to use. Let's check the WAR average to make it easier um, to determine which score is more dangerous. And then um, let me show you what a difference role um, these extracted indicators can play from existing indicators. The simplest detection is made when multiple attacks and multiple attempt to access. If the attempt happen um, more than the average, the attack indicator will naturally increase. Um, those two IPs, and as I pointed out, Unlike other IPs, they attempted a lot of critical and high attacks, so it results in high attack indicator scores. It can be considered as a natural malicious IP because there have been many critical and high events with high weight compared to the average. Um, following are low number of IPs. Those IPs tried a number of low attacks and let's see what kind of attacks they attempted. If you check the signature, they have tried a lot of scanning attacks. When we can see sorted by data date, um, they tried to scan steadily every hour. These IPs looks like it have attempted to find vulnerability through steady scan attempt at um, this company. So it would be more effective to block them in advance even if the attack is normal. Um, finally, even though um, there are only a few low attack attempt. This is um, the IP with many uh, access attempts. This is the IP with the highest um, WAR score due to multiple uh, um, access attempts. In the point of 
in the view of classical security monitoring based on IPS and WAF, this IP is likely to be considered um, that there is no risk because only a few low events um, have been detected. But let's check which action it made because he um, received high attack indicator with a uh, number of access attempts. Um, first, uh, in the IPS event, there are only a few port scanning. However, um, considering the excessive excessive access attempt compared to other users, the attack may have bypassed security solutions. So let's check low event of web blocks. As you can see, we can check the rear attack log in the web logs. It is a case of successful um, rear attacks by, by bypassing IPS and WF detection policies. So far, through number techniques, we um, talked about a way to detect area, which was typical to detect by creating other fields than IP and um, signature that you already know. This is the last part of the presentation. Thank you for listening.